Hello, peoples. Good day, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Today, we're going to give our reaction and our summary about Godzilla versus Kong. And uh, we already gave our little 30 second immediate reaction after the video. What are you doing, man? <laughs> All right, so at the I'm beginning, the air, I'm the last airbender. Are you? I'm, I'm, no. Oh, I'm the fan. Can you <laughs> feel it? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> All right, so at the beginning of this video, we're going to talk about what we um, just non spoilers about the movie, and then we'll say spoilers, and from there on out, I won't be, be during, I won't be here during spoilers. He doesn't want to be here during spoilers. He says he doesn't want to ruin the movie for people, right? Yeah, because it's just mean. It just well, if they have the warning. Then they shouldn't be spoiled. Spoilers. Spoilers. Okay. We should be like spoilers, and then wait like five seconds, and just be like, "All right, if you clicked off this video, you're not hearing us right now, so we're talking nonsense." That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't know about you guys, but I think this is probably one of the best monster movies. Uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, was still probably better. You like yeah. King of the Monsters better? Yeah. Really? I like, I think I like this one better. Why do you guys like Why do you like King of the Monsters better? One I word. I just like Ghidorah's Mothra. fight. Mothra? You like I Mothra? Like, and you like Ghidorah? Mothra's my favorite I like, no, I said I like Ghidorah's fight. It's much more interesting than watching Godzilla be pummeled by a giant monkey. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm in disagreement. I really like the movie. I mean, it was a good movie. I'm not, yeah. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but I just like the King of the Monsters better. Uh, this one had plenty of monster fighting. Um, almost throughout. I mean, like, what, the first 20 minutes was no fighting? Right? I don't know. No, I think it was the first 30 <laughs> About the first half an hour, yeah. you get the human story and what's going on. Um, you get a crazy guy on a podcast. It's really, really, like really straightforward with who the antagonist yeah. is. And then, yeah. so the, but, the, but when they do start fighting, exactly. it's during the daytime, and it's really good, I think. Yeah, and they're in a different, weird place. Yeah, they do go... Don't even say that. Alright, did you go to another world, sort right. of? No, I said weird place. You just <laughs> spoiled the movie right there. I didn't say they take him up in a spaceship or anything. You just spoiled the movie. <laughs> Alright. Um, Wait, there was a spaceship in the movie? I, yeah. yeah. Should I just don't know. Why are yeah. glasses? What's wrong with my glasses? Okay, so uh, the human part in this movie was, it was better than the last humans. I mean, they actually played a pretty good part. And yeah. rolling this movie, they cheated. Yes, they did cheat for for Kong. Without Kong, without the humans, Kong would have got his butt, butt kicked. kicked twice. The whole throughout the whole movie, I think. <laughs> yeah, Godzilla. Yeah. Godzilla was like getting his butt. Yeah, like had those moments where he was having like in, in a yeah, trouble situation, trouble. but like mm -hmm. Kong was right. So this is not a spoiler because it was in the trailers. But once Kong gets his axe. You know, it comes into be a pretty even fight. No. Yeah. He still no. gets his butt whooped. He still gets his booty whooped. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. But it's a great <clears throat> movie. Yeah, um, his, his advantage goes up by like 2%, right. and then that's about it. No, it goes up by 0.2%. I don't know. It's like his superpower. Anyway, so it's... um. Ah, uh, superpower. It's a great... As long as you go in there and not expecting some deep drama, or just... As long as you go in there... Want to be entertained? You'll be highly entertained throughout the movie. Not really any boring parts to the movie at all. There is one. One boring part. The very beginning. Well, well, it's not boring. The first twenty or thirty minutes when they're trying to establish what's going on, you know, you gotta set up the movie. But from there on out, it's very, it's very good. I think. Like those yeah. three-hour-long prologues in Wheel of Time. Yeah. Two hours, two days, four hundred. Uh, I think it's more like it. if you watch wrestling, it's more like the opening with the. The opening uh, commentary where they're trying to uh, do their promo promos and Pro say, say we're gonna beat you brother and stuff like that, I'm leaving because of that. <laughs> all I'll right I'll be back y'all you'll be back but I think that's basically let's get to a spoiler part but yeah so you, I think you'll enjoy the movie if you like Godzilla movies or Kong movie You're you'll really definitely like, like this movie yeah. it's really good and so now we're gonna talk about spoilers about the stuff we really liked our favorite parts and I'll be here for one of the parts. And some things we didn't like. All right, since you wouldn't uh, not talk about this, you go ahead and. No, share I your... will be. I will. This is going to, I'm going to share two things. So All right, go ahead. first thing is I like my favorite part is when they go to that to Hollow Earth. And, and these are spoilers. Spoilers alert. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry. Spoilers alert. Uh, you can turn it off go, if you don't want to hear nothing. Yeah. Um, and my favorite part is when they go to Hollow Earth and these weird spaceship-looking thingies, and then... Um, They're called... Spaceship War Bats. No. No, they're not. The yes, they are. I googled it. The okay. shuttles that are in are called War Bats? No, the... the this is Cobra thing. Well, I talking, didn't talk about those. Uh, he's talking about the shuttles. I'm talking, and I, my favorite <coughs> part is one of those. And the then my second favorite part is when, um, like Viper said, these Cobra-looking things called War Bats. Uh, I like the part where Kong rips one of their heads off. Why of, would you like that part? And then drinks the blood of it. And everybody's so like, gross. everybody's like, that's gross. Yeah, he's like, that's. I gross. feel really bad. I thought that was. Uh, I feel really yeah, bad for those two creatures because it's just like they got they did that. But mm. this it, movie it really like, explains what Kong eats. Because it was like, yeah. it was Kong like, eats Kong guts. was, Kong was not having, not dealing with nothing. Yeah. He was like, yeah, like he got, um. You're gone. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm moving it. Oh, I'm you're moving, moving it? Or are you coming back into it? Oh, why are you moving it for? So, <laughs> oh, whatever. Just to spite you. Yeah. So basically, despite, like, he like, he like despite. breaks every bone in their body. I'm like, why? Yeah. What is this? Who the brings? war bats. Oh. They're just like, I'm just like, yeah. that is not okay. You know, you guys haven't seen this movie. I don't know how many of our viewers have seen this movie, but in the Beastmaster, they got these monsters that will, uh, they hug, they give like the bear hug to the humans, and they wrap them all up in these wing-like things. That's kind of what it reminded me when the war bats hugged, uh, yeah, hugged Kong. Kong. Yeah. So it's kind of like they're going to yeah, constrict him and like, suck his I think covered his... I have, one more his part. I have one more part to yep. share. And then again, again humans had to save him. Yeah. yeah. You know, they kind of made Kong a little weak <clears throat> in yeah. that aspect where, like, he really didn't beat anybody up by himself without the humans he can't, stepping he, in. He couldn't even, he I can't beat anything by himself. Okay, what's your other part? Okay, this is my actual, actual last part. Okay, so this part is... Nobody can see you. I don't care. Uh, this part is when, uh... Wait, I'm thinking... Kong is in that cave where he's about to get his axe. Mm -hmm. I'm like, are these people honestly going to get out in Hollow Earth where the gravity is so intense? And they even said before they went in that the gravity is so intense that it will kill you. Yeah. That's why they, they have the shuttles. No, listen, listen. They yes. get out of the shuttles and they don't get crushed. I'm like, because, what's the point of no, this? Once it's you, the traveling yeah, thing once that you break them. through, uh, Once you break through this barrier, the gravity... It's oh, normal-ish. It's normal-ish. Yeah. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, yep. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, I kind of like... So it we reminded kinda, me of Batman vs. Superman, though. Yeah, so, yeah, so if it, this is almost like play-to-play -play from Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> and there's actually a part where Godzilla has Kong down, and I, I swear I was waiting for Mothra to show up. I said, all we need is Mothra to show up right now. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, you know, they're growling, like, uh, Kong starts growling at Godzilla, vice versa. And I was like, where's Mothra? This is be the perfect time. Yeah. yeah but, it, yeah, even the point where you could put, like, uh, Kong's axe as Batman's kryptonite, um, what do you have? A kryptonite spear? It's almost like. Is what what, is what Batman versus Superman would be if, if it Superman was, monsters. was winning? If it was yeah, if it was a mon if it was a if Batman versus Superman was a monster movie, and it, was it would Superman be Godzilla versus winning. Kong. Yeah, and yeah. Then, so, so and I like some of the I was like, and then the part when Mecha Godzilla, well, yeah, Mecha Godzilla's in here, and so like when he was like being charged up and everything, I was just like, hurry up, upload everything. I want to see this fight. I want to see the fight. See hurry up. Fight. Yep. Load it up, load it up, load it up. I would say this is probably the most baddest, awesomest uh, Mega Godzilla throughout history of cinema. It's very, very, it's a pretty good. Yeah. He was kick, He was kicking butt. Oh my gosh, he was uh, like. He was wiping he was the wiping floor <laughs> with Godzilla. Literally though, he was like, yeah. like just Quite literally, white. Yeah, he was like mopping up, throwing the him into buildings, and it was like ramming him into buildings. Like I don't know, kind of remind uh, me of Rastam when they put their head into like turnbuckles. Yeah. And I'm guessing that I'm guessing it was Ghidorah's like consciousness that took control, yeah. because they were using his skull as like a conduit. Right. Yeah. Even the part he was, he was about to pay Godzilla back. He was trying to open his mouth up to zap him. <laughs> Just to go. Yeah. All you had to do was you know do his laser breath, but he's like, no, I'm gonna do this down your throat. 
And then uh, that's when Kong. And then Kong's like, "Well, I'm back." Yep, he's like, "I'm back." And, and then mm -hmm. they have, then they fight him together, and he still basically mops the floor with them. The only reason Mechagodzilla didn't win mm -hmm. was because his gadgets were shut down. Yeah, they're for right he when he couldn't, was... he couldn't use any of his missiles or. Yep. Team, um, tail thing. He couldn't do anything like that. Oh, now he, all he could do was just punch things. Yeah, because Team he, Godzilla finally came through in the end. Yeah, and shut they, they shut down the weapons, and then Mechagodzilla was just like, oh, uh, crap. And then, you know, you have um, the... Yep. It reminded me a little bit of, like, the Star Wars thing when, like, they cut up the robot... When they cut up certain robots that are, like, really strong. Oh, they yeah. just, like, cut them up the in pieces. The stuff, yeah. And it was, like... That was basically what Kong was doing because Godzilla powered up the axe with his atomic breath and he was just, like... Yeah, charged charge. axe! And he was just cutting Mecha Godzilla Yeah, he basically to turned that axe into a lightsaber. You know, that would be a cool a lightsaber of a Jedi or a Sith had a lightsaber axe. Yeah. <laughs> but it oh, I actually... Hey, did you know something? You wanted something funny? What? Somebody actually designed that. Oh, really? Yeah. But it does show that Godzilla has some it's kind of... It's not a canon lightsaber, yeah. though. Godzilla does have some kind of, some intelligence, because he realized that he could charge the axe, because that's what basically what I, it, Kong okay, did. Godzilla isn't stupid. He's never played off as stupid. Yeah, but they made him very animal animalistic in this. Yeah, he's a very smart animal. Not like, very calculating He's not a ca he's not calculating like a ant like a human is, but he's like. Did you step like, on your glasses or something? That's why you wear them that way. What? Why are you wearing your glasses that way? It's cause My glasses are fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're annoying. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You know, you can tell in the video or not. What are you talking? About? Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay, I'm dying. But yeah, but Kong kind of gave us more of the human emotions. That's what I had like, some human emotions. Yeah. But, he didn't just. He was smiling a little. He smiled a bit. It Who's was that? creepy. Godzilla? Yeah. It was really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. was like... He, when he was like beating up Kong and he just smiled and I was like... Oh no! That's horrifying! Right. So... I mean, I wish there was a way... Like, through this, the humans could communicate with Kong through um, sign language. It'd be nice if they come up with a way to... Communicate with, with Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. Godzilla never really had a communication. I mean, if they're going to, if they're going to go to... Uh, it was mainly Mothra or Rodan that yeah. communicated it. If they're going to canon, Godzilla can actually speak in one yeah, of those movies. I hope they don't ever do that where he's actually talking. No, that's no, so, that's, 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 that's so that's stupid. That's weird thing. <laughs> that was so funny. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, you guys jumped a shark yeah, with that are, one. The original Godzilla movies were... They were great. Yeah, like, they were great. But the, the Zilla movie that America made and bombed was like... Just... Yeah. A big giant flop, but they came back with the animated series. That was great, but yeah. the um, I still didn't. It, I think it was taken off of Netflix before I finished it. I was so sad. I went on to try and watch it. I was like, yeah, part, "Where'd it go?" Yeah. Um. So, anything else you want to say about the movie? Any favorite parts? Favorite I, do, part? I do like the technology. Uh, the technology in this was. I remember cool. these uh, bat things. I'm like, I saw them open up their eyes. They had like little yellow eyes, and they're hanging on the ceiling. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And then I saw their faces like a little better. I'm like, what even is that thing? It's like a mutant. It was like if you took a buzzard. baby. It's like if you took like a baby vulture's head, mm. and then put it on a bat's body, and then gave it raptor legs. And yeah. I was like. What is that thing? Yeah. I'm like, I thought it was adorable, and then I was just like, that is the terror. That's like nightmare fuel. Yeah. <clears throat> Anything. I did like the technology. I think the te I thought the technology was awesome. I felt a little bad for the skull crawlers. Yeah, they gotta use them as um, test of test dude. subjects. I'm just right. Like, that's not okay. Yep. Now, okay. So I and then they also have that Sarazawa. Uh, they bring. <laughs> yeah. So. I, I don't think. Okay, so me and my dad are like, I don't think they know any other Japanese names because that's all they come up with. All the all the sci all the Japanese scientists are is Doctor Sarazawa. That's just, that's what it feels like. Um, I don't want to end this on a bad note, but I think the one thing I didn't like was that I would like to saw some of the other monsters that we saw at the end of of uh, King of Monsters. Not really. I didn't want to see like any of them die. All of, all of a sudden, like every monster in the you in the Earth at the end disappeared. They just weren't bit busy doing their own thing. Yeah, They're not supposed to help the king out when it comes to battles for dominance. Well, They're supposed he's to... his subjects. 
But they're not help. supposed to help him. They're, okay, that's how it works. You have to do, you have to dominate your strength by yourself, which yeah. is why Kong is so weak because he can't do that. Yeah. I was hoping to see more the only monsters on beat, Kong Island too. Okay, the only reason he beat the scroll crawler. Okay, this is my personal opinion. The only reason he can beat a scroll call scroll crawler uh -huh. was because. They're of weak. plot armor? No, because they're really weak. Okay, that scroll. Okay, the skull crawler that um, Kong killed apparently killed both of his parents somehow, and I so just, I was like, okay. And I then Kong even, beats it. And I'm like, how? I think it's, we're, we're Kong really has weak. plot armor. Okay. No, he, he does. You think everything is plot armor? He does. Uh, He's no. so weak that he gets away with everything. All right, this is getting long. Anyways, do you, I think with the technology they've got now, I wouldn't mind. CN, so destroy it. Bring back Destroy it. That'd destroy be awesome. It. They used the Octane Destroyer. Now just yep. mutate a, a little ar uh, arthropod and you I was getting ready to say we can bring in aliens because some of the first Godzilla yeah, like the movies. Planet X guys. Yes. Bring in the Planet X guys. But um, I, would, I would definitely watch uh, Godzilla vs. Destroy it because would, that would be that'd be great. I want to see Guy Gigan. Gigan's always like Guy one Gigan is probably the worst ones uh, ever. I don't know. He's, he's, he's awesome. Okay, like I'm he's not. He's like say, my favorite enemy he's, monster. He's he, he's probably like the coolest looking one, but he kills himself all the time. <laughs> I would like to see him. He's always killing himself. Like seriously, it's it's become a running gag now on the internet. Sure, sure. People are making jokes about it now. So like, he's he he killed himself both times he fought he chopped his own head off and then he got a brand new body and wow. head and then he kills himself again well, i don't know i would like to see him do you want to see any more godzilla movies i would like to see a gigan that didn't kill himself all right so we would like to see more godzilla <laughs> movies but what are your uh, comments do i'm you... not done yet oh well hurry up godzilla this is long. Versus, versus destroyer definitely uh-huh probably a um godzilla versus um Mega Ge Mega Gearus to see what they could do with that, because Mega Gearus was probably Mega Gearus um was probably one of my favorite. Like he was pretty, he was a pretty weak monster, but he was still pretty cool, and I really liked him. But like you have like there's so many different things that people could do, but also you have to get permission from Toho because they like own everything. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gonna might see a new monster, bring oh, some yeah. aliens in it. Like Scylla, I think Scylla's a new one. I don't know. And the Mutos. You always can bring back the plant monster thing. Biolante? That yeah. was the spirit of a dead girl that possessed a plant. Well, either way. So leave in the comments. What was your favorite parts of Godzilla? Do you want to see another Godzilla movie? Oh, Godzilla. Like a new Godzilla Final Wars would be cool. Uh, too many monsters. Have a great day. <laughs> and you guys, uh, <laughs> Not see you later. Not this one. <laughs>